Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. On the day where it went from being warm to actually quite bloody chilly again. So today we're going to be reviewing a curious little fella called Curious Session IPA. A triple opt and distinctively curious IPA. So it's a 4.4% strength. Oh shit, it's a fucking gusher as well. Okay. Expecting that. It wanted out of the can. Oh, keen out. So I got this. Oh, you get the aroma. Oh, good aroma. Then again, it's all over my bar, so it would be a good aroma. Yeah, um, so it says here this refreshingly zesty and bloody active. 4.4% uh, IPA is brewed using the finest pale ale malt with three complimentary hops. Uh, complimentary hops, goodness gracious me. Is a homage to the power of three. I've seen that somewhere before. Charmed. He had the power of three. Anyway. I forgot where I was now. Used to, the power of three used to create Bordeaux, Champagne and Coates de Rhone wines. We used some traditional Eng English goldings the traditional fresh, sweet, delicate king of English hops, and Bramming Bramling Cross, a, fro a forest fruity beauty. Forest fruity beauty. Finished with punchy, spicy, aromatic chinook. Balancing these hops gives a great distinctive beer, creates a distinctive beer, great power and harmony. And I think... The um, the same company also do Curious Apple, which must be some of side, I presume. Curious Brew, such Curious Porter. There's, they've obviously got this Curious thing going off. Curious Brute, Curious Apple, Curious Bacchus Brew. And I think they're the people behind Ch um, Chapel Down as well. If I'm right in thinking. I'm sure they are. But anyway. So, another cracker of a day. Gotta say, how flipping life changing moving jobs has, uh, has been for me. Um, they're at work again today, bringing, bringing a garden back to glor glory days, doing the job the right way. These days, you get a lot of jobs, and it's all about doing it fast, doing it crap. And a week later, I'm to do it again, and that's a, that's a lot of the a lot of gardening is like that. Um, they don't want you to do a good job; they want you to just quickly whiz over it. Oh, it looks good for five minutes. Blow all the rubbish back in, and or let drop and leave. And uh, quality is everything. Quality should be where we should all be striving for. Does my boat in um, when you've been when you're told that you're quality, you know, too much, not enough, uh, too much quality rather. So, despite the fact that it bubbled up like a twat, it's actually really quite nice. Um, I got this in a. Beer haul from uh, lowcostbeer.com. Um, it's a few weeks ago now. Uh, I have reviewed Curious before. I'm sh I'm, I'm, yeah, I have. One of them at least. Nice bit of resin in the flavour and on the aroma. The aroma was stronger when it blew up out of the can, I must admit. Yeah. This wood on my um, little bar in front of me has had that much different beers and that spill on it. I bet if you could drain some out, drain, drain the fluid out, you, you know, you'd have about 50 different beers and wines and all sorts of stuff. It's aging it well. Pleasant, easy going, easy drinking. Um, definitely a beer that's aimed at the masses rather than the um, 
than certain craft beers that are aimed just at, you know, a, a particular area. You know, where somewhere, the, the ones that make, trying to make a statement, this is just trying to say, yeah, I'm an IPA, have a drink, see what you think. I can't fault it for that as well. Oh, bloody hell, I'm freezing. I was boiling earlier, and now I'm absolutely frozen. I've got, um, oh, even my built-in eating's not working. So I don't know if Tesco is doing a bit of a range review this weekend, or just a few a new updates, but um, I think it's London Beer Factory posted on Instagram that there's going to be a tiramisu stout uh, new to Tesco's on on Monday, September. So um, you know what's going to be happening there. We're going up tonight. I'm just going up for a nosey, seeing if it's already on, because they, they do that sometimes. They'll bang them on early. And uh, go up, and get the review cred. Oh. So my uh, my gazebo hot tub project is a go. Hot tub room project is a go. Wife wants going to give me the money to order the wood needed. Um, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm going to scrounge some wood from my new boss because he's got some wood that he's not using and uh, I'm sure if I ask him nicely if I see him because uh, I've only seen him once this week <laughs> so basically I mean today I was working I work on my own anyway that's not the thing but today I was at the hotel one of the others was there Didn't sp oh spoke once yeah spoke about four words and that was it so <laughs> And I never saw, hardly ever see anybody. And, uh, you know, there was a time in my last job when I was absolutely lonely. But I was suffering. There was other issues with that job. You know, bad issues. But this job, even though I'm on my own, it's like being in my own big garden. And uh, I have to remember to stop talking to myself sometimes. But, um, yeah, and everything I'm doing is positive. Every little aspect of my work is positive. God, how many people can say that in jobs? You know, not in this day and age. And, uh, I mean, I'm even using my bloody car as a makeshift van bringing home. I'm taking pallets from one location to another location because I need to use them to put my plants on so the plants aren't on the floor. Don't want the slugs and that all chewing the, sh you know, the shit out of them. But, um, yeah, even taking compost and... Uh, Oh, the compost. No, 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 like it. It's obviously been there for years, this compost. Good seven years, probably. And uh, it's perfect. And apart from the little stone now and again on the twig that hasn't rotted, flip it absolutely spot on. Can't fault it whatsoever. I mean, if, if you're going to if you're gonna have your compost heap, this is the most perfect compost heap I've ever seen. And I've been in the garden for years, and we've had good compost heaps, but nothing like this. So, no litter, no fucking nastiness in there. So, enjoying this. Um, going down very well. Like I say, it's more about the resin. It's not really overly tropical. There's hints of tropical in there, but to me, it's just about the resin. And uh, yeah, it's a very easy going IPA, very quaffable, 4.4% as well, it's a good session of bush dump. Nice bite on the tongue at the end as well. So, uh, it's always nice to have a decent beer, isn't it? You don't want to be drinking rubbish. Um, Especially at half four in the afternoon when you've done a day at work. Been up since half five, so I'm, I'm due a beer. Um, yeah, brilliant. Um, good, a good introduction to the world of craft beers, uh, in my opinion. A good, you know. Couldn't tell if that was a fly on it then. Yeah. 
A good introduction to the world of craft beers and especially IPAs, not too nasty, yeah, not too strong. So if, if you want to tread in the waters of beers, but you don't want to go for something that's trying to make, make too much of a statement, this is the fella for you. Or one of many, maybe, but certainly one to try at least. Um, out of five then. For me, 4.3 out of five. Yeah, did what it did and uh, was all right. Apart from the gushing at the beginning. Obviously trying to get out of the can too much. And they wanted that. They wanted me to drink it. Can't fault it. It's got a good taste. And that's it for watching. That's it for this beer review. As always. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. And as always, in the present situation, stay safe. It's uh, strange old times, isn't it? Really strange. Right. Off to get, off to get warm and get some work done. Even though I've been at work all day. Cheers.